and welcome to part 15 of our S3 service playlist and in this video we are going to learn that what are pre-signed URLs and we are also going to do a hands-on on it. So let's start. Now let's take some short introduction about pre-signed URLs. Pre-signed URLs can be generated using S3 console, AWS CLI or SDK. So you can generate your pre-signed URLs by using the S3 console or the AWS CLI. Whichever is visible to you, you can create the pre-signed URL using that. Every URL has expiration. So after some amount of time, the URL will be expired. Then if you generate your pre-signed URL using the S3 console, then its expiration is from 1 minute to 720 minutes. You can specify your time, your expiration time. If you generate your pre-signed URL using AWS CLI, then its expiration is from 3600 second and max it will go till 168 hours. You can specify that also. The users which are provided the URL will inherit the permissions of the users who have generated the URL for get input. So if I am generating the pre-signed URL of, for my objects and I am providing that pre-signed URLs to you, then you will inherit my permissions and you can access the objects into the buckets. So now let's see the actual working of the pre-signed URLs. So for the working of pre-signed URL, first of all, we have our bucket which is private and the owner is going to create the pre-signed URL and the SC service will provide the pre-signed URL to the owner. Afterwards, the owner is going to give the pre-signed URL to the user and the user will use the pre-signed URL and will get the access to the particular object. So this is the way the pre-signed URL works and now let's move on to the hands-on of it and create our own pre-signed URLs. So let's take the demo for pre-signed URLs now. So I have already created, I'm using the previous bucket which I have created which is S3 Akruti source and here I'm going to upload some objects. So let's click on upload and add some files here. So we'll add the images here and click on upload. So the files are successfully uploaded. Let's close it. So now we want to create the pre-signed URL for our first image, which is this. So if I want to provide you uh, access for my particular object, so I can create a pre-signed URL and provide the link to you so you can access the particular object for some amount of time, which I have uh, set. So you know that this is the public URL of the object but as we have not uh, attached the bucket policy here so we will not be able to access it. Of course I don't want uh, this uh, object to be accessible for every user. I just want to allow the access of this file to just some particular user. So I can create a pre-send URL for this object and then I can give the URL to the users which I want to allow the access of the object. So if you want to create the pre-signed URL, once the pre-signed URL is also created here also. So this is also called a pre-signed URL but this is for the user itself. But if you want to create a new pre-signed URL then you have to go to the object actions. And here you will see share a pre-signed URL. Click on it. So here you will able you will be able to see the time interval until the pre-signed URL expires. So you have to specify amount of time and after that time the URL will be expired. So I'll say that after four minutes the URL will be expired. So now let's create uh, the pre-signed URL. Click on it. So let's copy the pre-signed URL. It is generated for us. And now let's paste the URL into the second tab. So this is the URL. This is the pre-signed URL which we have generated. Now I can give this URL to any user which I want to allow the access of my object. And it will expire after 4 minutes. So this is the way you can create the pre-signed URLs and you can provide the URLs to the users you want to allow the access for your object for a particular duration of time. So that's it for the video. Meeting you in the next video.